All right, and the impact of Hurricane Milton left quite a mark on Port Orange. As we know, the city told us more than 500 homes were flooded and 1,300 buildings were damaged. Total cost about $15 million. But this afternoon, there's a new danger, the loss of FEMA protection. West 2's Pamela Combe explains what some homeowners are being asked to do or risk the city losing some critical insurance. Tim Sturchy has lived through multiple hurricanes. His Port Orange home right on the river isn't a stranger to floods. When the roof came off, I left, you know, and the water comes through the windows. And a lot of trash, a lot of debris. Milton caused significant damage, but Sturchy always knows just what to do. And then the next day, you just clean up and push the water back where it's supposed to go and keep going. Now, Port Orange is warning residents in special flood hazard areas they need to upgrade their mobile homes to meet certain FEMA requirements. Some of these mobile homes need raised. Uh, some of them uh, need rebuilt, whatever the case might be. But FEMA will chip in for that. And the whole idea is to avoid repetitive claims and to keep people from having to uh, not suffer like this again in the future. Port Orange Mayor Don Burnett says if homeowners choose to not meet necessary requirements, they could be unable to purchase flood insurance policies and become ineligible to receive disaster relief from FEMA. If you make necessary modifications, you could save some money. You can actually save on your flood insurance policies in the future. If the city is in compliance, you can get a 25 percent uh, uh, discount on your flood. The goal is to bring all the homes to compliance and reduce their need to rebuild and repair after every storm. Reporting in Port Orange, Pamela Combe, West 2 News. There are about 400 homes that will be getting the letter code compliance letter in the coming weeks. FEMA has two grant programs to help people with these upgrades. We'll have more information up on WESH.com.